Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My today's topic is uh, combinational circuit design. At first we have to know about what is combinational circuit. Combinational circuit is comprised of a set of inputs, processing units and a set of outputs. There are some steps to design a combinational circuit. First step of designing a combinational circuit is to analyze the problem correctly. After analyzing problem statements, we have to find out how many possible inputs and how many possible outputs will require for the design. Then we have to name all of the input variable and output variable. After naming all input and output variable, we have to write down the truth table. After writing truth table, we have to simplify output functions. After getting uh, output functions, uh, we will design the circuit and this is the last step of the combination design. Let us uh, proceed uh, to the first design. Our first problem is there is an automobile circuit which is actually used to detect uh, certain undesirable conditions. There are actually three switches. Uh, one uh, is used for indicating the status of the door by the driver seats. Another is uh, for the ignition and another is for the headlights. Here, depending on the two conditions, uh, alarm will be activated and we have to design the logic circuit. What are the conditions? First conditions is the headlights are on and while the ignition is off and the door is open while the ignition is off, on. These are the conditions. If we see the problem statement, we see that there are three switches as inputs and only one output which is alarm. So the alarm, value of alarm should be 1 when the headlights are on at a time the ignition is off that means if the headlights value is 1 and at a time the value of the ignition is 0 that times the alarm will be activated and another condition if the door is open that means the value of door is 0 and the value of ignition is 1 that times alarm will be activated. So we can say that the alarm output will be a logic 1 for two cases. First case is when lights equal to 1 and ignition is equal to 0 and second one is the door is equal to 0 and the ignition equal to 1. Door open represents the value 0. Now proceed to the throat table. When we proceed to the throat table, we see that there are three input variables. Since there are three input variables, so uh, there will be eight input combinations. And depend on the eight input combinations and uh, two conditions given in the problem statement, we will get the output of the alarm. So these three input door ignition and lights here we see that uh, the value of output alarm is equal to 1 for the min term 1 for the min term 2 for the min term 3 for the min term 5 how we will get the value if we go here we see that when the door is equal to 0 and the value of ignition is equal to 1 that time alarm should be 1 so we see that for the door equal to 0 and ignition is equal to 1 for this two term we will get the output 1 here 
Similarly, for the second case, we see that here when the life is equal to 1 and that means at a time ignition is equal to 0, that times logic will be 1. So there are also two cases. Here is one case that is the lights value of lights is equal to 1 and the value of ignition is equal to 0. That's why LM is 1 here. And for this case, we see that there is value of lights is equal to 1 and the value of ignition is equal to 0. That's why the alarm should be 1 here. Otherwise, for all of the wind drum, uh, the output of alarm is equal to 0. This is the truth table. Actually, what is the truth table? Truth table is the logical representation of the theoretical idea. Here is the theoretical idea and we just uh, represent it logically by a truth table here. Now, after getting a truth table, we will uh, simplify the output function. Here only one output which is alarm. Now we simplify this function. Uh, before simplifying it, we see that uh, the output of alarm is equal to 1 for input for min term 1, 2, 3 and 7, 3 and 5. That's why we will put 1 uh, in 1 position, 2 position, 3 position and 5 num number position. So there are a lot of simplification method but we use a math method for simplification. This uh, mm -hmm. A square represents uh, min term 0, this a square represents min term 1, this a square represents min term 3, this a square represents min term 2, this a square represents min term 4, sorry, this a square represents min term 6, this a square represents min term 7, this a square represents min term 5, and this a square represents min term 4. In the math method, all of the square actually represents a min drum. All of the square represents actually a min drum. So after uh, putting one into the map, we just grouping adjacent one. We just grouping the adjacent one to minimize the function. Now we see that this one and this one both are adjacent that's why we select it as a group here this one and this one will also adjacent that's why we select this two one also so how we select uh, in the map as a group we can select only one value we can select uh, two value we can not select three value at a time we can select four value at a time four adjacent value we can select eight adjacent value that means we will select adjacent one or adjacent zeros by the power of two okay so we can select only one value we can select two value at a time we can select four value at a time at four adjacent value at a time we can select eight adjacent value at a time we can select 16 adjacent value at a time we cannot select uh, three values at a time or five values at a time because uh, three and five is not the power of two so after uh, selecting uh, this uh, two one as a group and this two one as a group we now find out the function from the map if we consider this to one we see that for this to one the value of door is changing here this is the value of door zero for first row the value of door is zero for second row the value of door is equal to one here two variable first variable represents uh, the value of ignition second variable represents the value of lights uh, this uh, will continue for the later column here 
this value is for, for ignition and this value is for lights here this value is for ignition and this value is for lights and so on when we select this two one as a group we uh, see that uh, the value of door is changing for the first one the value of door is zero for the second one the value of door is one that's why we never select door as a simplified variable here uh, in the case of ignition and light we see that uh, the value of uh, ignition and light remain unchanged for this column that's why we select in the value of uh, ignition and light if we select the value of ignition and light for this uh, column we will find that ignition prime into lights in ignition prime into lights as a function here another function we will uh, get for this two one if we select this two one here the value of door is unchanged remain unchanged that's why uh, we will get uh, door prime from for these two variable and we will get the value ignition door prime ignition so we can write the equation alarm is equal to door prime ignition plus ignition prime into lights since since the value of ignition is not changing here we will select ignition and here the value of door is not changing that's why we select the value of door so from here door prime and ignition and for these two value we will use the value of ignition and light that means ignition in ignition prime into lights so final equation is alarm equal to door prime ignition plus ignition prime into lights after getting equation we will just draw the diagram here here we see that there uh, is a door prime ignition so at first uh, we design door door prime ignition this is door prime ignition and another term is ignition prime lights here is the ignition prime lights both are going to the OR gate and this is the final output alarm thanks everyone for your patience please click on the bell icon and subscribe our channel and if uh, there is any if, if you want to do any comments please uh, feel free to tell us